Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing this yellow-ish look and so I was trying to go off of what I remembered a picture like on Pinterest and so I'm gonna, so here is the eye look. I used Makeup Geek. Now you guys are really gonna laugh because what I remembered the picture being is not what I created. So um, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I at least tried. I remember that she had gold. You guys are gonna be, okay, if you're not cracking up dying, that this eye look looks nothing like this one, it's okay. And that's what's fun about playing with makeup is that, you know, you can try to recreate something and it can be a total bomb like what I did. So, I mean, I, I enjoy the, using the yellows, but I got nothing close to what this picture is other than I try to use, well, let me get, this came out nothing like this photo. But that's okay. I mean, I was trying to go off of my mind and remember what it what it was like. If I was smart, I would have actually walked downstairs, got my iPhone or my iPad, <laughs> and tried to create it um, the way that it actually was, not the way that it stuck in my mind. But I got to play with makeup today. It's Saturday. I wasn't in any rush to go anywhere. And so that was, you know, kind of fun. So we've got a yellowish color on the eyes. I almost feel like I could have done this for Halloween. You know, kind of like a, I don't know, what kind of candy do you want to recreate your makeup looking like? How about candy corn? Because candy corn is fantastic, right? So I recreated this candy corn look for spring. Yeah, that's it. I, 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 I brought Halloween into spring. So anyways, it, if you want to see what I am trying to do or accomplish, please stay tuned. Um, you know, it's only makeup. As Bailey Sarian says, it'll wash off. And in this case, it'll wash off. So hope you guys have a great one. Enjoy this I hate to even call it a tutorial, but I at least had some fun on a Saturday, right? Anyways, hope you enjoy. Talk to you guys later. Okay, so today I'm gonna attempt a yellow eye. <clears throat> mm hmm a yellow eye. And I, so I found, which I wish I would've brought my, my iPad up here. I could show you what my inspiration photo is. Right now the inspiration photo is locked right here. Don't know if I'm gonna come even close to it, but one of the things in the yellow eye that it had was this be beautiful cat eye with the liner and y'all know I absolutely suck at that. So in in the middle of trying to figure out how was I going to pull off a cat eye with the yellow and try to make it look like where the inspiration photos um, burned into my head, I went ahead and tried something different. Maybe not something different, but trying a new technique with the cat eye. So my, my or my wings, they, they never, like I'll have one up here and then one down here, I have one short. So what I did was I thought, okay, since the wing is where I have an issue, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just draw a line, my first one. And then <laughs> this goes to show why I have issues. So I went ahead and I'm, I'm trying to eyeball, like do I really have it set? And as you can see, this side it looks a little thicker because my first line was like right here. Mm -mm. Again, it was off. So I tried to kind of erase that. I know I'm gonna go over with makeup so it doesn't really bother me. So I drew a second line. And now I think from looking at it, I've got kind of where that cat eye is gonna go. But it just goes to show sometimes when you're really bad at something, you gotta figure out, like, you can't do it the way everyone else does. Okay, fine. So you just gotta figure out how to do it yourself. So yeah, you can see this side right here is really muddy looking. That's because my first line for my little cat eye would have wing, not cat, wing, whatever. Um, this side would have been way too high. So I'm gonna use this as my base. If I go past it, okay because I'll just go kind of over the top. But I think, I think this might help me. <laughs> it 
If not, this is gonna be an absolute nightmare. So we don't know until we try, right? So I'm gonna pick back up this Ocalon palette. Uh, I really like the yellows in it as I, I did another video on this palette and I was, I picked this up because I didn't end up getting the Kat Von D metal palette and that kind of bummed me out after the fact. At first when I looked at it, I was like, eh, I don't know if that palette's for me. It's got, I think I was really burned out on um, metal color or shiny colors. So I just kind of got burned out at the time she put this palette out. Well, my burnout is gone and now I wish I would have purchased it. So luckily for me, the Shop Hush that has multiple dupes of much expense, more expensive eye palettes, thankfully put out a dupe for me. So now I can still play with it like I since I missed out on the Kat Von D palette. And if you go like on eBay to get it, you don't know if you're gonna get a real one and they're so overpriced. So if you thought you were gonna spend a lot of money before, you're gonna spend a lot of money then, just cause you missed out. So Ocalon I think was $16, so I was real excited to pick this up for $16. And um, when my husband watches this, and knows that I missed out on Kat Von D's, but I found a palette that I spent $16 for instead of going in and trying to, to purchase one that now is way overpriced, he's gonna be proud of me. Mm -hmm. He will, because that's not like me. Usually I get like this death grip in my head that I've gotta have it, and then I'll pay whatever to get what I wanted. So Rob, you're, you should be proud. If you're not, you should be. Okay, I haven't played with Makeup Geek in a while, and so when I was looking at those yellow colors, I thought, okay, Makeup Geek has got some pretty yellows, and we're going to start out with this color here, and it's called Casino, and that's what we're going to use to warm up our transition. Today, I didn't... I put on most of my face. I didn't powder in case I need to go ahead and darken or clean up under where my wing is going to go. So yeah, I'm trying a whole new way of doing my makeup, which is odd for me because I get stuck doing the same things and, and then I get frustrated when I can't do things that I want to do. So today is just going to be all about getting out of my comfort zone once again. And like I said, I'm not really worried about going past that line right now. I at least got the edge of that wing where I think I want it. Okay, I also have, I broke up all, all of my um, palettes with her by kind of color, except these are kind of more of a mustardy yellow. Probably should have those in the yellow palette. So this one's called Desert Sands. So we're gonna pick up some Desert Sands. I've gotta find, I broke out a little palette to use for something and I've gotta fill these back in. I don't like how that looks. I know, I'm anal retentive when it comes to makeup geek. All my other palettes, I'm like, eh, whatever. Makeup geek, I'm like, oh, it's gotta be just perfect. And I saw she's coming out with new shadows, so I'm trying to not buy anything else because whatever she's putting out in new shadows, y'all know I've got to have it. In fact, once she puts out these next shadows, I think I'm going to do like a video on all the stuff I have of Makeup Geek because I have quite an impressive Makeup Geek collection if I don't mind saying so myself. And obviously I don't mind saying so. <laughs> okay, so I'm building up that transition color making it a little bit more mustardy, kind of in the crease, kind of in the transition. And yeah, as I look, I went way down with the mustard on that side past my little line. I haven't realized until I'm scared to see what this turns out like. I'll be impressed if it actually gets to be put out there in the real world. Because I, if I really screw it up, I don't know, maybe I'll still put it out there if I really screw it up because that will be funny. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the Painterly Paint Pot. Although I was really hoping to have soft ochre. And since I haven't put some stuff away, the top of my little table looks. 
I've really gotten into these bright colors for spring. I have no idea if this is going to turn out. I'm really thinking that even if I like the yellow, I'm going to get scared when it comes to the wing. I know I'm going to be afraid when it comes to the wing. I'm already psyching myself up. Up or out? I'm not sure, but I'm psyching it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to a bright yellow, which is called Lemon Drop. And I'm doing this on the weekend, just in case it comes out as a hot mess. Because if it was a work day, a lot of times my looks, I, I don't know if you... Well, believe it or not, I will wear them to work. Some people wouldn't. Me? I like it. I like um, showing creativity. As long as it's, well, I say as long as it's not too wild, but that's probably not exactly true either. I'd probably do something a little wild. Okay, I like how that lemon drop is popping. Yeah, I thought maybe I could do a video series of trying to recreate different eye looks with my Makeup Geek palettes because I have all these Makeup Geek colors and to be honest with you, I don't use them. Not because I don't like them. I absolutely love Makeup Geek. In fact, if you guys have noticed or paid, kind of paid attention, you haven't heard me tapping my brushes. You don't have to tap your brushes. And if you, you also noticed with this video, it's got pigmentation. So with her stuff, it's like I hoard. I buy the eyeshadows because I'm in love with them and they perform absolutely amazing. But then I hoard them and it's like I'm afraid to use them. Or I'm doing another video on another product and so I just kind of hoard her stuff and it makes absolutely no sense. So I had to get in my own head or out of my own head recently and say, okay, you've got these amazing eyeshadows that don't make you mad and they perform absolutely stunning why aren't you using them so i think i'm going to start doing a series just with me trying to recreate looks and really hoping for the best but using the makeup geek because you know when you're trying to recreate a look nothing is worse than trying to recreate something and you're doing it with a palette that isn't performing the way you like and then all of a sudden you have you it gets you kind of down or in a funk because it's not that you necessarily couldn't re recreate the look but it may be the palette and then that sometimes can get people down and then they don't want to play with makeup because they're what they think they can't do it may not be them it may actually be the the quality if that makes sense Okay, I can't remember what she did underneath her eye, but I went ahead and wiped away where I went past my little line. <laughs> Still cracking up that I have a line on my face. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of a concealer just to go up underneath that little eye spot since I rubbed it pretty hard to get my excess off. So we're just gonna kinda clean that up real quick. Which I guess I should've waited until I got my eyeliner done. I'm gonna pick up, even though it's not a yellow shade, it's called Shimma Shimma. And yeah, you need to pronounce it that way. Shimma Shimma. We're just gonna pull that a little bit up underneath. All right, I've delayed the inevitable. I am picking up Makeup Geek eyeliner brush, and I'm picking up L'Oreal's Cream Eyeliner in Espresso, and I'm now sick to my stomach. Y'all think I'm kidding. Mm -mm. Alright, so we're going to redraw that line on. And I do like how precise her, these, those brushes. Very fine tip. Okay, now this is the part where I freak out. You're like, you've been freaking out the whole time, Amy. And just now you're freaking? Okay, we're going to start maybe in the middle. This lady had a massive wing. Oh! She also didn't have hooded eyes. Okay, this is where my wings are not are starting to not match. And now I feel like I'm looking a little candy cornish. <laughs> it's not Halloween, it's spring. Maybe 
I'll just hold this one, this video until Halloween. How about that? Holy crap. Y'all, I might have created my first little semi-decent wing. But let's not get excited yet. We're not done with the other side, right? Okay, this, maybe if I just put a piece of tape right here, it'll work. Because now that I'm working on this one, I see they're not quite equal. Okay, I think this is, is good. This is beyond, you know, what my expectations were for a wing, since I can never do one. But I'm actually pretty impressed that I think I just figured out how to overcome my wing issue, which is I have to draw that line ahead of time because there's nothing worse than getting your makeup all in the spot you want it. And then you go to do your wing and you, you screw it up. Ooh, I found the glitter. I'm trying to find the color. I don't see the color on it, but I don't think they put the tassels on these anymore. This may be old. And I know you're supposed to like not and I think I still want a little bit more definition so I'm gonna go a step deeper and pick up Tiki Hut and Tiki Hut I'm picking up on a Makeup Geek pencil brush so that <clears throat> so that just added a little bit more and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that Tiki Hut again. Then going back to the yellow palette, I'm gonna pick back up Lemon Drop. So I'm gonna do my false eyelashes. I think, well, before I do that, the fun part about creating you're like what do I do next do I leave it alone do I keep going I don't know I'm gonna take a I think let's hope this doesn't screw it up there we got a little definition that way all right I'm gonna put on some false eyelashes and then we'll kind of finish well it's pretty much finished but we'll finish thank it you so much for watching today as I use some yellows a little bit of oranges brown ish colors more yellowish oranges not your oranges browns but i use makeup geek to create this yellow look and i hope you enjoyed this so if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always you have a choice so make it a great one until next time